start here? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honor to the apostles, those great millstone, and the South Asian brothers doing this thing in sincere the truth of our church. You know, when I write the tours, the title says, you know, Mexicans are Israelites. I have this clip, you know, this uh, 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 Craig brother speaking. I'm gonna let him speak, and then we're gonna hit these precepts, man, because end of the day, the northern kingdom went through the exact and went through and go through the exact same things we go through now, man. Which is the proof that the Israelites, man, um, somebody get drunk, turn and hold it. Uh, they should be a sign upon it. I think it's 46. I'm pretty wrong. I'm pretty and you mentioned the, the indigenous language of the, of the Aztecs or the Mayans, both of them. Both of them. Um, you said it was connected to an old Hebrew, ancient Paleo Hebrew, ancient. So, does that mean that? that language that was indigenous to what Mexico and Central America is today was a Semitic language? Yeah, so what the schools teach you is uh, an indoctrination. They, they, you're getting, you get in, inducted into this indoctrination of what they want to call you or what they tell you that you are. So for instance, um, you know, our people get called Hispanic, right? So Hispanic, not knowing what that term means, you know, we call each other Hispanics, but that was under the Spaniard captivity. When the Spaniards came in 1492, and um, you know, raped, robbed, and pillaged, you know, the, the people of Mexico, um, how they knew you were under that captivity was by calling you a Hispanic. How you you belong to a family of a Spaniard that took you. You worked on their plantation. You were given their last name, like my last name, Ayala. That comes from whatever captivity my my family got taken into, and maybe we were have to work on fields, whether it was picking, you know, um, tobacco or whatever that family had us doing, that's what, that's what we did. Now, Latino is different. Latino is under the Grecian captivity. That's, um, if you were Latino or how they, how they differentiated the both of them is um, Latino actually meant that your bloodline dated back to a Grecian or a Greek. Um, and people that are from down See, south. And, and, and that shows you that even using the word Latino, this is what we tell this corrects in Hispanic. So, so call, you know, them all the time. We, Palestine. If you go to late Latino, he said that goes back to Greek. Why? With the word Latin itself goes back to what? The Roman time period. What language did the Romans speak? Latin. So when you say you're Latino, you're putting yourself into the Greco Roman vibration and Hispaniola, you're going back into the, uh, after Hispaniola as he was inundated, but that's just a couple thousand years after. You know, what about a thousand years from when uh, Hispaniola, when they got taken over during the Renaissance period? Uh, after the Dark Ages, we started falling down. Esau came and set up um, um, Espana. He, he set up uh, uh, Portugal. He set up um, all these other by what? Taking us down through the Spirit. The Lord took us down and set them up. But I don't give a fuck if you're so called Latino, Native American, uh, it's like it's Latino, Mexican, whatever, or Hispanic. Hispanic goes back to a byword, and Latino goes back to a fucking bad byword that has nothing to do with the heritage and the original heritage of the so called Mexicans, let alone. The uh, let's so-called Latin Hispanic community. And so that's that's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful point. Or, uh, both of them is um, Latino actually meant that your bloodline dated back to a Grecian or a Greek. Um, and people that are from down south, Guatemala, El Salvador, um, you know, just South America, they're not Latino. Their 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 dads aren't Greek. You know, we're still of this brown race. You know, like they call. You know black people or african americans that are here now africans and they're not from africa they actually just got taken into captivity in africa while fleeing israel um africans are hamites they're from the tribe of ham so um they're, they're just a different people and that's why people in africa don't accept the blacks that are here the so-called blacks that are here in america because they say those aren't our people you know and um you know history they won't teach you uh, you know, in, in, in my in my era, they taught us a little bit of Aztecs and Mayas and Incas, or just a little bit, but they never tell you how our people got here. They never tell you. You know, we came from somewhere. They'll never tell you, you know, how we read the stars. We used the thing called Sinotes, which were these, these ponds, reflection ponds, to read the stars. While Columbus was looking up at the stars, trying to read them, trying to find these holy people that were that had a blessed land that was promised to them full of riches and rich soil and all this and that he was looking up at the stars 
and he didn't know how to use the geometry using the reflection ponds. And that's how we got here. Our real name um, is not Aztec, it's Isakar. That's our real name. They gave us the name Aztec because it means people of time, because we kept time in numbers. And so that's where that came from. Uh, real quick, this is a procedure, because what this is doing, I love the fact that we say, you know, that uh, Mexicans go back to the tribe of Issachar. We also went to go say that uh, so-called Negroes, they're not, they're, they're not Hamites. Hamites are the so-called Africans. We are in captivity, we are the so-called Negroes are the Israelites. This is what this, this doctrine, the title, Mexicans are Israelites and so forth, is all in Ezekiel the 37 chapter. All right, I'm just gonna get the point. Uh, Ezekiel 37, 15. The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stake and write upon it for Judah. And that Judah represents the so called Negroes uh, uh, from the tribe of Judah, so called African Americans to the West Indies, the Benjamites to Haiti, the Levites. And then we even all mix them in together. You could, you could even differentiate them by, you know, there's no way to differentiate them now in America through uh, mixing of the tribes. But Judah collectively is referring to so called black, so what they call black or African American. And for the children of Israel, his companions. And the children of Israel would be the, the so called Mexicans to the so called Native Americans to the Puerto Ricans, Guatemalans, uh, Brazilians, Panamanians, Argentinians, Chileans, etc. Okay? And it says, um, and uh, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph. The stick of Ephraim and from the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. Um, and this is when um, the Lord is putting the one in the hands by reuniting the uh, southern kingdom, which was the tribe of Judah, with the northern kingdom, which is the ten tribes that fled over here to America, Lucy, the Latino, Native American, uh, Seminole tribes. And now the Lord is waking us all back together in the uh, that, uh, chapter of Ezekiel 37. Which is uh, prophecy from the past, and more. Uh, and it's just it's funny that you brought this out, Benji, because uh, on the on the WhatsApp, there were several articles came the brothers had posted today, um, and and the, and matter of fact, some brothers are were at the uh, temple of uh, Quetzalcoatl, and they're doing a live show out there, and but the Lord is really pushing the vibration of the Northern Kingdom, waking up with the southern kingdom because the state the proxies have to come to pass so more lessons like this and more it's the correct going to wake up more so-called gadites are going to wake up more similar indians are waking up more of chileans and argentines but the more we in the peace off world and the truth is being propagated through the internet the more we're waking up to the fact that mexicans are israelites uh so-called maybe latino hispanic uh tribes if the bloodline goes back to abraham isaac and jacob there are those are israelites as well Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses. Uh, start up. Uh, uh, the, the verse about Bible uh, and the Oh, uh, uh, verse 37. Go on, go on. It says, And thou shalt become. Well, thou shalt become what's the verse of Brother said? It says, uh, Yahweh, shall, Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee uh, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, where the Yahweh shall uh, lead thee. Right. And uh, like that, the, that brother on the video said, on the riot said, man, all right, Latino doesn't go back to who the, uh, the so called Mexicans are, or neither does Hispanic. Those are titles placed upon you, just like us being called blacks. This is a title placed upon us because uh, we've been enslaved, and that's what our captains decided to call us, man. That's part of the curses. Which, if you want these curses, that makes you an Israelite, man, because these curses are the proof. You know, the curses are the proof. Not uh, well, more that. Uh, this, uh, I was going to say they're not in trouble like other men. Uh, that's the priest of the best factor that you say. These other nations, they're not going through what we're going through. The proof is our captivity. You know? uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28, 45. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he command thee 
12, which he commanded thee. All right, so we had our land we sinned. So what was what would be the curse that would come upon us? We were going to slavery. Mm -hmm. We were going to slavery, man. So we, we have uh, uh, Latin, right? Greco Roman slavery, they, so they call Latinos. And then this current slavery where the Spaniards came and conquered our brothers, man. And they call themselves what now, man? Mexicans. They speak what? Spanish. He started off in that video saying that the uh, ancient, what do you say, Aztec and Mayan languages goes back to the Hebrew, man. When you go into those words, it goes back to the Hebrew. Because we are the Israelites, just like uh, uh, you had Jake singing, uh, uh, Southern Kingdom singing Kumbaya. You got these Israelite brothers that know more of the ancient language, and they can understand and uh, link it back, excuse me, to the actual uh, uh, Hebrew, man. Verse uh, 46 says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Right, and that forever just makes a long period of time. But it said these curses will be a sign upon us, man. So the fact that uh, uh, we we lost our heritage, you get that Jeremiah seventeen four. We lost our heritage. We we don't know who we are. We call ourselves uh, Latinos, Hispanics, what uh, uh, Latinx? That's the new one. All right, blacks, African Americans. That's two damn continents, man. That's madness. That's not who we are, man. This, this Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine inheritance that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies and the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Now, at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, Mexicans and Native Americans were here first. This still isn't their land. All right? This this isn't their land. This land was allotted to, to even the rule, man. It talks about um oh, I forget the word for it. I forget the word for it in English, but it means uh fire in the, in the, in the scriptures. Fuck. Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. But it was meant to be burnt. That's what they in the ancient world it was a, that's what they uh probably took my tongue. When you read the scriptures, that was the land where they burnt where they uh, uh burn stuff at. Huh? Right. And that's this, and that's this, and that's what this land was called, Tophet. I think it's Tophet. Okay. Yep, I think it's Tophet. And that's this is. This place is meant to be burned up. Esau was meant to come over here and take over this land. This is not our land. Our land is Israel, man. So we're in a land that's not ours. We're in a land that we know not. We're from the other part of the world, and we do what? We serve our enemies, man. The, all right, the Spaniards. Hey, the Spaniards and the French came over here, conquered uh, uh, uh South America, Central America, the islands. All right, conquer of course North America. Okay, that's why he's speaking French up in Canada. You speaking Spanish, and you speaking Spanish in the, in the uh, southern parts of America, man, or Portuguese when you go further south in America. All these things are related to who, man, Edomites, man. These are our languages of our conquerors, the titles of our conquerors, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you think you're gonna call yourself rich port? You just came with the title of Puerto Rican yourself, man? No, man, yo, this yo has got put to work. That's what they called you because it was a very fruitful land. All right. Yeah, so yeah. this uh Daniel chapter nine and verse uh eleven. It says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the party, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. It says verse twelve, and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. By, by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Hey, the proof is in the pudding, man. These curses was told to happen to the uh, to the Israelites, man. You know, hey, hey, the worst atrocities who do they happen to in history, man? So called Negro, Latino, Native American, man. I'm glad you said that. Uh, this is uh, Galatians. I'm gonna find it on the law. I just read this one. Galatians three, and I'm gonna get the one the law. Why you getting there? Just, you got it? Yeah, Deuteronomy. I mean, I got it. It's right here. I'm scrolling to it. And it reads Deuteronomy 21. 20, no, no, I have to scroll down. Deuteronomy 21, 23. His body shall not remain all night upon a tree, but thou shalt any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is the curse of the most high, that thy land be not defiled with you. How will thy power give thee for inheritance? And Galatians 3 says, Curses every man hanged from a tree. And it's beautifully said that he said nothing like this has been done to any other people, man. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Who else? They came up with the frank the phrase "strange fruit" for so called you know Negroes, man, the Judites. You know, because we hung so much that became they made a song about it. But meanwhile, they did the same thing to the Northern Kingdom, man. They hung them like they hung us, man. That's right. All right. It's a whole book. They got literature about it. Yeah, how to I'm, make? I'm right here. Oh, you uh, got to pull that. Oh, yeah, because because uh, uh, I pulled this up because uh, it was a spirit because you wanted to go into this topic and a couple years ago we went into the same thing. All right, we went into uh, me and you, Ariala. We went into uh, two kingdoms, one captivity, and we went into specifically the untold lynchings of Latinos here sure. in America. All right, and uh, I have this article here from uh, ambitiouscollective.com. It says history, the unknown history of Mexican lynchings. It says lynchings have long been associated with violence against African Americans in the American South, but the lynchings of Mexican Americans in the American West have long been excluded from history books. Thousands of men, women, and children of Mexico of Mexican descent were lynched from the mid 19th century and well into the 20th century. All right, so what the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah were oppressed together. Man. That's it. That's it. You know, we went into this, to this uh, same uh, oppression, but it's just history that's been swept under the rug by Esau. Man. That's it. Con. Hey, the same, th- uh, uh, same thing that Judah went through, North Kingdom went through. Like, when slavery got uh, banned in Mexico, they were taking Mexicans and shipping them to the islands, man, to work them. Okay. You know, they were uh, the Philippines. Yeah, the yeah. Philippines. Uh-huh. A lot of the Filipinos are not Filipinos. A lot of those are Issacharites and Judites and all the 12 tribites because Esau, when, once we hit a slave ship, you depending on where that ship was going, depending on where that Israelite was going. And that's why the scripture said we're scattered abroad. We're really literally scattered abroad in every four corners of the nation. I have one quick one to back up with you and that Deuteronomy and so forth. Mm-hmm. Is that a quick day for the you die here, right? Jeremiah? Um, 5 and 18. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a fool in with you. And it shall come to pass when you shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God all these things unto us? Then shalt thou answer them, like as ye have served, ye have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land. So shall ye serve strangers in the land that's not yours. You know who the first people who got kicked out of Israel was? The Northern Kingdom. The Northern Kingdom, and then you go into the, uh, second the Apocrypha, Ed. second Ed, is the 13th chapter, to my knowledge. Yeah, that's right here. Uh, that's the spirit. Um, that's how the, Is- the Iscarites got transported to the other side of the world then. But that was because we disobeyed. And I say we, I'm talking about collectively Israelites, Northern and Southern Kingdom. Yeah. All right? And the end result was the Lord kicked us all out and took all of our heritage and mixed them up, spent them out, and, and, and this is the proof of why. We were serving other strangers in our land and strange customs and strange gods. Lord said, well, now go to these other lands that you love so goddamn much and these philosophies you love so much and go serve them and see how much they can take care of you. And no matter where we went since then, we have been treated like shit. We've been in the bottom of the, 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 uh, the barrel. We've been the slaves. We've been the peons. And we've been straight up 100% oppressed. That's gone. Simonetta is 13. And um, in 40, said so those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land into the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanazar the king of Syria led away captive, and they carried them over the waters, and so they and so came they into another land. But they took them, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country, but never. Uh, were never a uh, mankind dwelt. And you uh, saw his people will tell you that um they were the first one over here, so to speak, man. <laughs> to establish um you know to establish um uh a so called way that uh to um, carry on the tradition man. Uh uh-huh. uh-huh. read one more. Um says uh that they might uh, says, uh and they entered into Euphrates of the narrow passage of the river. The most high man shows. Wait, what verse is it? 43? No, 42. But right, 42? It's like it. That they might keep this, uh, 42, that they might keep their statutes, but they never kept in their own land. Right. And the oldest uh, copy of the Ten Commandments was found over here in this part of the world. All right. I believe in, uh, I think it was it's the Los Angeles Stone. All right. That's what? That's in Mexico, man. Or New Mexico, which is Mexico. Like, what the fuck? 
from that much apart from Mexico to basically Canada, that's all Mexico, man. All right. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was so, illegally took it. So he saw colonized it. Yep. Yep. That's madness. Uh, one more. He says, which they still didn't keep them here, but this is why I said they didn't keep them in their own land. But they wrote them commandments down, man. All right. With the name of the Lord in the house. Mm hmm. Kind, of, yep. But Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. But through that country, there was a great way to go. Slap, so read that over. Bob Chuck, who got that crown? 44. Oh, yeah. It said, for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Can I hit, hit that chronicles real quick? Because right. that brother said that in that video, man. He said, we understand again because of the stars. But that's written in the scriptures. For one, it said they had the signs. But who led the way for those signs right here? Right. This is First Chronicles 12 and 32. It says, and the children of Issachar, were, uh, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, that his of them were 200, and all their brethren were... Yeah, all their brethren were at their commandment. There you go, man. So Issachar had that, that special gift to look at the signs of the times. Now, how do you know the signs of the times? Genesis, the first chapter. The stars in heaven. So they were able to look at the stars, man. That's why they go off. Uh, uh, they use, even to this day, the uh, Maya calendars for almanacs, man. They know what the what the far farmers use that shit based off of uh, calendars that was made hundreds of years ago. Maybe even a thousand years ago. How long it was since the so-called Mayans made, made it, man. You know? This is all, this is plain and simple, man. This, hey, this is Romans 8, um, this is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the church of the Most High. And this is my fucking brother right here, man. Alright? This is my brother. This ain't no, no fucking, I don't know what they say to Issachar. Is. They ass all over the place. These niggas are bugged out, man. This brother's Issachar right, man. He not no damn more by fucking Esau. All right, he, he, and he ain't no fucking any other weird shit y'all try to put on him, man. All right, so-called Negroes, like Native Americans, we are the Israelites, man. Plain and simple. It's no longer two nations, man. We one nation, man. Israel, Yasharala. Yasharala, Shaw, uh, Yahweh. Israel of, of Yahweh, man. Like it says, and I believe uh, Galatians. It's like it, brother. Y'all had something, right? You had something? Uh, I just wanted to back up that second Ezra 13. With uh, the Jewish Encyclopedia of 1906, uh, it says the name. It says Arzareth, which is from Second Ezra 13. Arzareth, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration, according to Second uh, Ezra 13 and verse 45. Columbus identified. America with this land. So even Esau will tell you that uh this place, Arzareth, is where uh the ten tribes came, man, to observe the laws. All right, which you have proof of that, man, with the lost Luna stones, the Decalogue stone. All right, it says true shall spring from the earth. All right, that's evidence in itself, man. Uh, I just want this uh Genesis 1 14. It says, Yahweh said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and, and let them be, be, for, be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. All right, man? So hey, it's kind of had that understanding of the times and, and the seasons, man. You know, and that's what that uh, that brother was going into. You know, when he was uh, um, giving a breakdown of uh, how Issachar, uh, how so-called Mexicans are Issachar, man. You know, because they, we, we, they have the understanding of the times, the seasons, man. You know, the stars, I understand. Mm -hmm. Look, um, you, um, this is 49 and 14. So this car is a strong ass. Got it down between two birds. All right, and now, if you look, if you look at the location of um, where Mexico is at, all right, not work with this car, and I also work with some Colombians. They probably can't stand each other. All right, <laughs> when you ask them why they come to America, because they thought that America loved them, man. Right? When they get here, the search would uh, uh, be a half white immigration. We can't uh, 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 speak out against anything uh, uh, wrongfully done to them because they are um, afraid of deportation. Right? Hey, that, that's a good point. I'm glad you mentioned that because that same hatred that Esau has for Judah is evident they have it towards. This is the kind of rest of the tribes. Look, look, look. Hamite come over here, 
he good tax free. He get business loans, do same shit. It's like Ishmael, Arabs, same as yep, Grant, same as uh, tax free. They get a link card of, of food assistance, food stamps. They get eight hundred dollars, no taxes, bro. Me and Yaki one day was in Sam's Club. This is years back, and we noticed these motherfuckers go to Sam's Club for all this shit in bulk. They get it on fucking link, come to the hood, and then put that shit at inflated price, man. All right, these they, these heaters got a leg up over us, man. But look at what they did to Gad. All right, they 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 tried to commit forging the side on the Gadites, man. But that's Genesis forty nine. The truth shall overcome them. They got taken down by the Eastern Army, man. Nobody got hit like that, man. They damn they got wiped out, you know. Then look what they do this got to this day, man. All right, like you said, they taking their babies, uh, uh, they taking them, putting them in cages, separating them from their families. That's Deuteronomy twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it says they should, you should long, you should long for your family during our training the curse. You can't, you can't do nothing about it. This is still happening to this day. Same thing they did to us during slavery. Tap separators, put on the auction blocks. The father go to this this plantation. The children go over here. They ripping the wife away. And all you can do is long for them, man. They did that back then. They doing it now, man. This is all proof that hey, the Northern Kingdom is who we, we say they are through the Spirit. Tell y'all about showing y'all shot. The Latins and the Native Americans are the northern kingdom, man. All right? The southern kingdom, which is no southern northern no more. We won't try, but for the sake of breaking it down, all right? The southern kingdom is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man. I mean, yeah, so-called Negroes, Haitians, and uh, Jamaicans and shit, man. I got that uh, Deuteronomy. This uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. It says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thy hey, they're not doing that to Elam. Mm -hmm. They're not doing that. They're not doing that to Ham. All right. Hey, in South in South Africa, even they laws have made it well. Ham is getting land back. Meanwhile, we still getting fucked up over here. They building a wall to stop Mexicans from coming to a land that they once possessed. They building pipelines through Gadai reservations, man. This ain't happening to these fucking heathens. This is proof that with Israelites, man, that perpetual hatred is only to us. Let me finish this out real quick. It says, And thine eyes shall look and, and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Motherfucker, immigration come, you just you just fuck, man. It's guy kind of just stuck. They even showed that towards the last season of Orange New Black. It turned into them talking about the immigration prisons, man. Man, that should be privatized. And they separate the families, just fucking madness. No, I, I was I was jumping in. Um, I was I went upstairs and did some research just on Mexico mm -hmm. off of the strength of a Kazakh and how it's in Mexico it goes back to the Hebrew. So I went to you know do my research just pull it up, but I got it to uh, how Mexico actually actually it's a Hebrew word it has Hebrew roots and uh, and I just had that, but I didn't know where, where you are in the script and that uh, okay. no, yeah, no, yeah, I go to a little bit. This, you can go find this off of Wikipedia. Um, name of Mexico, and now you go to the first part. Esau so gonna send you off with it. Could be plus, it could be black. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, well, you know, some people think this goes back to the other thing. People throw a thousand things because that's what Esau does oh to keep you uncertain. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But then it says, um, when you're going down to the word of etymology of the word Mexico, then they will give you another. Uh, it could be this, it could be place of this and that and that. But then it goes. We keep reading. It says um, there has also been a suggestion of Hebrew origin. According to a letter written by a Creole priest, Fray Servando Teresa de Miel, and translated by Jose Willard, many uh, Nahatl uh, Aztec names had Hebrew roots. Shit. Which means, many means, damn, they're all of them. All right? Unless wow. we, you know, but you know, Jake, Jake will go ahead and make up a goddamn name. So Jake will be go traditional, or Jake will be, Jake will be fantastical. You never know what Jake is going to do. So when he said many names, that means the majority of those names all have Hebrew roots. So why would Mexican names, majority of the so-called Aztec names, have Hebrew roots? Because they Hebrew, nigga. Because that's simple. Right. All right? According to Torquemada, Torquemada, the first missionaries, in order to write the Aztec term that we call Mexican, were in agreement with the wisest Indians created in the school of Santiago Tlatelico, said 
And as their pronunciation had two Hebrew letters, the, um, they say Shade or Sade Shad, and then the Shin, which would go to uh, no, the Shin is the Shan, and I think the, the other one would be just the Sa, Samach. Uh, uh, that's why I would go because the only S sounding Hebrew characters would be the Shan Sa, Samach, or I think Samach, I believe, would mm -hmm. yep. be the Sa, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the Shin, which would be the Sha. Mm -hmm. All right. They substitute them in their writing by approximating the first with TZ, which you know TZ in Hebrew is the Zah, mm -hmm. um, and, and the second with a soft X. That's why you get the X versus another, you know, X is not a Hebrew character. Um, but the majority of the conquistadors, being from Extremadura or Andalusia or Arab in their pronunciation, strongly pronounce all of the X's written by the missionaries because of this the Spaniards said Mexico or Mexico, uh, even though the Indians invariably pronounced it Mexico as in Mexico, right? Mexico, or it would have been the, the, the sh sound versus the X sound. Ah, right? uh, the brother, say say that word with the X sound uh, the, the Mexican uh, state of Gaxa. Mm -hmm. With the sa sound. They say X, they got X ready, but it's like the sa. But it's, but it's truly the ch, right? No, I, sa. The sa? Kind of sa. Kind of sa? Okay. All right, so it says that with the Hebrew letter Shin, Mexico's were uh, with a soft X, like the Indians pronounce it means. Uh, it said, even though the Indians invariably pronounce it Mexico or Mexico uh, with the Hebrew letter Shin, Mexico with a soft X, like the Indians pronounce it means where Christ is worshipped. Right. And when Mexico we, goes back to Mashiach. And that's what I'm about to say. That's the Sha sound. That's the Sa yeah, Sha. The there you go. There you go. And, and, and that's why I said the Sha because it's Mashiach. Mashiach. You know, but that's at the end. That's the end. That's the Sha. Yeah, that's at the end, right. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, where, but it said the, um, the Mexico with the soft X, like the Indians pronounce it, means, tell you what the meaning of Mexico goes back to. And this is the historians, Damn. which were the people who were there during those time frames, which you can't listen to Esau Edom. In this modern day time frame, even in this breakdown, that's not the first thing that they came in going back to Uruk. They tell you what is possible with the whole of confession. That you listen to the shit they said before, I don't even want to read it all. There, and I'm not, I'm just gonna give you an example. It says, uh, um, according to one legend, the war deity patron of the Mexica had or whatever, uh, <laughs> possessed Mexicito or Mexi as a secret name. Mexico means the place of Mexi or the land of the war god. Uh, they, they says that's one possible. Then there's other legend, another hypothesis suggested. But they, 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 this is what Esau does to get you away from the truth. All right, right. Throw some bullshit. But then they go back to the originators, and this is what they say. I'm going to error what they say because this is um, Mexico's with the salt. It's like the Indians pronounce it. It means where Christ, which is Hamashiach, is worshipped, and thus the term Mexicans is the same as Christians <laughs> and Mexicans. All right, so Rocky, right. we back. We back. Esau was fucking around with the fucking modem, but we back in there. Yeah, I'll just read the like the draws over uh, here. Okay, cut down. And I'll just finish the last thing that I was on before Esau got to play games and shit. And that's all. And Esau does it because they listen in, man. They got keywords, certain words, they'll trigger something to do something. Don't be in front of Satan's devices, man. All right? <clears throat> so let me see if I can find this again. Right, yeah. yeah. So. This was in, you need, you need iPhone? Yeah. I have one upstairs, I'll put it in a second. Okay. The yellow? All right. So it says, uh, Mexico's with the salt X, like the Indians pronounce it means where, where they say Christ, which we know is Hamashiach in pure Hebrew, is worshiped. And thus the term Mexicans is yeah. the same as Christians. So they said the term Mexican is the same as Christians. And Mexia X means what? As the Indians pronounced it. 
It is a Hebrew word that means taken from the Latin unctus, which we call anointed, taken from the Greek Christios, which what we call Christ, and taken it from the Hebrew in the same Mekshi or me, me, Messi, uh, which we we call Messiah. But that would um, the mesh, Mekshi would actually be Mashiach, Mashiach, all right, in the pure Hebrew. So Mexico actually means anointed. All right, it goes back to Hamashiach. All right, so Hebrew Mexico is a Hebrew word. It means anointed, and that right there proves that the Mexicans are Israelites. Because the only anointed people in the Bible are the Israelites. Saints. Right. So I had to throw that in there. What you mean? Because you said Mexicans are Israelites. Find that out. Yeah, we're about to call Kazakh. Like, hey, what is that? The spirit part of Kazakh. Yeah, that's definitely spirit. Yes. Um. But this is right here on Wikipedia in the etymology of Mexico. So why is this not being taught in so-called Mexican school that one of the originations of their name might go back to Hebrew? That lets you know they're not telling Mexicans that they're Hebrew. That's because they don't, that's a, that goes into the war campaign against the Israelites. Psalms 80, 83. Psalms, uh, Psalms 83, let, uh, let the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. So now you go to so-called Mexicans, they have no idea that the word Mexico actually is a Hebrew word that goes back to Mashiach. Hey, this this is Micah, Micah 2 and 1. Most of them devise iniquity yeah. and work evil upon their bids. Yeah. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they cover fields, South America, Central America, yeah. North America, yeah. and take them by violence. And the proof is in the pudding. They came and fucked shit up. <laughs> Esau did not spare any man. What I forget who said his quote was. He said he never put his sword down. Oh, I can't forget that. It was him, right? He said I never put my sword down. Moment. That means he went to sleep with his sword after he fucked up some shit. Woke up in the morning, fucking shit up. That's and right. then if you go to the whole speech of him, he said they pulled up. He said they pulled up. He said they pulled up. And they were a very peaceful people. Yeah. He said the only weapons they had were sugar canes carved out to be spears. And obviously that was to hunt what? Animals. We had no weapons to fight. There was no fighting amongst each other and no warfare. We had no swords, knives, and none of that shit. Because we did we, we were a peaceful people. And even to this day, and that's just this is, I asked all uh, uh Hispanics, uh Mexicans or whatever, and even Mites and heathens when we, we deal with the northern and southern kingdoms and just as to the planet. When is the last time you seen Mexico attack someone? When's the last time Puerto Rico attacked another nation? Right. They only fight each other, shit. If they do, and that's right, we will fight each other sometime. And that's the curses. Yeah. That's further proof that yep. we're the Israelites. That's further proof that the so-called Mexican Israelites, even um, back in back uh, during that time when they was worshiping the sun, they would go and find other Israelites to sacrifice. And mainly it was going to uh, get Gad, I believe. They was right. getting Gad. Right. Yep. Getting Gad and uh, Reuben, but I think it was Gad. They were sacrificing them, man. But that's that's the curses, man. That I should be with towards that. Uh, they, but, and, but a lot of that came from yeah. us looking at these other cultures and following their shit, mm -hmm. right? Because they wouldn't even thought about doing the dumbass shit on their own. Oh yeah, that, they was under the curse of idolatry. That's, that's, that's it. Twenty-eight too. They have tweaked it. Hell yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Idols would get you to go do all kind of shit. Because go back to every single other culture. You know what they do? Idol worship. Idol worship, yeah. and they go lose yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. Only time in the scriptures you ever seen the most I said sacrifice your child and your son to me was a, was a test to um, um Abraham and a, and a, a shadow of what was to come. Yes, I put for Yahweh Shai yeah. and 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 and, and, and parabolic. Yeah, he was Isaac, yeah. right, and that was that was something that the Lord was showing spiritually, and even more with the men of the Lord, how he used to prepare your bodies as living sacrifice. We throw ourselves at the at, to the Lord. And sacrifice ourselves. Matter of fact, in the law it says, "Your firstborn sons, they are mine." Yeah. Right. So all firstborn males by a man of uh, uh, is that man. If a man has a firstborn son, that son is owed to the heavenly father. All right. And if the, if you don't give him to the father and he doesn't come up in the father, he's going to most likely be destroyed because he's again going against the laws, man. Right. This is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse fifty-four. Says so that man that is that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother, and that's why they got the, the frame black the phrase black on black crime. But it's the same with, with the, the northern king, so called Mexicans. 
Gadites, all that shit. The brown crimes, all right? They, they, they gang back. Hey, what's that scripture I said for the six? They oh, stand on that. Yeah, yeah they, they have the full of rebuke, man. They, that's what, why you think, hey, look, you don't see no fucking, no fucking Elon gang banging like that. <laughs> and he, all right? You don't see no Chinese? Right. Arabs? <laughs> nope. In fact, you see, like, like you got the Japanese cholo motherfuckers. But those are like northern kingdoms that's yeah. scattered abroad amongst them, man. It's like, yeah, it's like foreigners. That's that's an Israelite thing, man. That's a curse upon us, man. That's why we kill our. That's why the uh, uh the fucking um not the mafia. What the fuck is the Mexican mafia called? Cartel is killing their own people and throwing their bodies over bridges, hanging them up just to show some a sign of power, man. That's part of the curses, right there. You can, you can figure it out. And it says and towards the wife of his bosom. Oh, uh, then that was the point, though. Shit, <laughs> fuck these bitches. Well, that's the curse. <laughs> 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 go, go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter fifty-one and verse twenty. It says, "Thy sons have fainted; they lie at the head of all the streets." As uh, niggas be ha- niggas hang on corners. Mexican niggas hang on corners, man. <laughs> all right, Tonto niggas hang on corners, man. Right, right, right in the middle, Arizona desert, on the corner next to a cactus. Gang mm-hmm. hanging off the right. Uh, and and uh, Issachar will fuck Issachar up. Yep. Um, um Ephraim will fuck Ephraim up. Yep. Ephraim will fuck Issachar. Uh, Issachar will fuck up Guatemala. Um, um, the 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 favelas. Yeah, the yeah. Brazil, the Brazil, they fucking each other up. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's proof that we're Israelites. But we won't mount up and coalesce together when we're the number one tribe on the planet. And take everybody one everybody down because mm-hmm. Esau don't but didn't let you know that we all related and then even if we were the, we, we can't get above the prophecies of the spirit of y'all flesh and y'all shot right. and the reason why we have been broken is because we're scattered the Lord says smite the shepherd scattered flock. and scattered and, and the, sh- the, the flock will flee and scatter so once they smite smitten Yahweh shot we were scattered to the four corners even when he came back real brief and he'll say, at this time, are we about to go hit on the one? He said, no, nah, not until y'all hit the four corners of the earth. I ain't fuck with y'all <laughs> until y'all go get to the word we done. And now we hit the four corners of the earth. That's why the most high is waking this back up. We can't hasten the brother promise. Kind of, yeah, and Isaiah says, uh, talking about how Jake dealt with Esau, he said, Esau said, lay down as the way. Let us walk over. And Jake did it. Yes, Jake, seek after the heathen. Seek after they love us, man. You got that? No, I got that on. Let us finish this real quick. This Isaiah fifty-one and twenty: Thy sons have fainted; they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of Yahweh, the rebuke of Thy power. All right. So really, it's the punishment from the Lord. That's why they killing each other. All right. The, the Lord put a uh, what he, he put a uh, say I will choose your delusions, man. So our people out here bugged out, killing each other. That's the curses, man. For nothing. And that's the proof in his life. Yeah. For the smallest shit. Your hat, you got your hat over the wrong way, the wrong colors. You uh, bumped to somebody or, or really you just look. Yeah. Or you just you just Israelite. If you we go over there to uh over there in Mexican neighborhoods, they assume we GD. Yeah. We don't gang bang nothing, but every nigga's GD. That's because they want to get on some GD. How man. many times we left um, the, 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 the uh the fellowship at mm-hmm. the Alice house in, in Mexico Bill? <laughs> and we getting ready to go get next ball, right? We just leaving a church service as, as far as white man's eyes and as far as Mexican eyes and black man's eyes because we got Bibles. We was over in fellowship and doing a lesson, doing a Shabbat or whatever we were doing. And we leaving and they will roll up on us with guns. Not, not, I'm not exaggerating. No, with guns. Real guns yeah. All right. They'll roll up to the car. They came up to the car one time. Me, oh, y'all sure. another brother. What, what, they, 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 they they Right, your daughter and company, they wouldn't smash this windows and chase them down blocks and pulled out bangers on them. And all we were doing was um having fellowship and service and going over scriptures. They, they, they were never right. actually Esau. Wait a minute, Esau no. came and they right up in Pilsen now. Yep. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Skateboard, yep. tight ass jeans, yep. man buns in their hair. Oh. Proud, that's the ugliest Proud as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gay ass. They're like gay Shawn Michaels, man. <laughs> Not even a cool Shawn Michaels boy. Ass is like <laughs> Chris Jericho and went drag, man. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it is, man. We and the Lord knows that we we care about our people, but our people don't know that we brothers, man. I'd make you think of even margaritas. He had a uh, northern northern kingdom, so called Mexican. Dealing with the southern kingdom, Jake, that was back with both the cooks, 
and the uh, one is the king and one is folks. God damn it. And so the king, he you know, he been there the longest, so he got all kind of uh king shit on the walls, graffiti in the background, or whatever. Well, the one GD nigga wrote up GD or whatever and scratched up on his shit, and there's only so many people to get. So <laughs> the nigga was like, you know, came confronted him in work, in on camera. Yo, did you did you write such and such and such and such and such on the wall? Yeah, stand up. Nigga stood up and he started whooping his ass and beat his ass so goddamn bad that he should have been put in fucking jail. All right? But they got Jake on Jake fucking around this dumb ass shit because Jake don't know who the fuck we are and that what they're doing is hurting their own brother, their own sister, their own people, and ultimately themselves and the Most High. That's why the Most High is pissed the fuck off, man. He got sons and he's mad. He has daughters and he's mad when they disobey. Just as if you had children and you told them to clean up the room and clean up the house and you come home, think the house gonna be clean. You came into the motherfucking house and it's just dirty. And they laughing, they chilling, they kicking it. This is very simple. The truth is real simple. But we fuck it up because we listen to Esau eating the so-called white man and we don't know who the fuck we are. And we don't know who our people are. The same set of people that will help us in the goddamn jam. We hurt because we think they are enemy, man. You know, funny about that is because when you um, go go to um, America this week, when the slaves you go away from the slave man, yeah. they ran his car. Mm -hmm. You can actually navigate through the both the northern and the southern kingdoms in the jail because they know you ain't on no game banging shit and then you just want a regular you just you know a regular nigga. Sure, that's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. And the regular nigga's a regular nigga. They, see, they're not trying to press you because you're a regular ass nigga. Sure. <laughs> You know, you talk gangbang is a whole nother step. They'll be ready to kill I mean, they, they got the duke of the Lord on their ass. They ass through. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner and the ass of Matthew's crib. But Israel does not know my people do not consider, man. Uh, you know, um, uh, you don't be trying to hear that, man. Oh, uh, they don't give a fuck. Hey, hey everybody else is proud about their heritage. Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. They they call us Asian Americans. They still know the Asian parts. Mm -hmm. All right. They still go into it. These different uh, heathens, they know they tribes they from Africans, they know they know all their little shits. Mm -hmm. Right? They they know they uh they rituals, the place in their lips. But it, Israel don't give a fuck, man. Northern Kingdom don't care. They stuck, they set on being and they if they can pass a white, they claim white. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they love they, it, they, man. They, 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 they're proud of it. They love Matter of fact, it's this uh it's uh Ephraim my girl that was working on my job when I was there. And before she quit, uh and she her her, her dad is Ephraim, her mom was so-called white and she kind of looked like either way but more on the white side what what side do you think she claimed oh, she man. tried she tried to claim the white except when the white wasn't cool you know what i'm saying they don't flip that's some yeah. bullshit that's some bullshit you know what i'm saying well you know i'm white anyway they're like no you're not you're you're you're, 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 you're daddy and i will cut at it a sexy fine ugly <laughs> <laughs> you're doing sexy as hell but then when you can't claim an esau you're ugly to me now because you just went and played, played the dog. What good has Esau Edom done, man? What have they done good for the planet? What have they done done good for our people, man? How the fuck you want to be Esau and you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American when everything that Esau did was take your people down? To this day. To this day, man. Uh, with Jeremiah 30 and 14, all our lovers have forgotten thee. Deceive thee not, for I wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. The chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thy iniquity to thy sins were increased, man. Uh, Esau, uh, uh, um, 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 this guy constantly wanted to be of Esau ass, right? But well, Esau gets no shit about him, man. Yeah. Here, they get, here they got him crossing the river, all right? They're throwing babies overboard, all right? Or he even got Issachar playing at their gun. Uh, 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 delivered them safe across the border, and they working for the goddamn border patrol, man. Huh. It says that Ephraim will give their children to the murderers. Yep. Yeah, all this shit about ice and everything they doing it, and it, Northern Kingdom still doing caravans to come up to, to this mm -hmm. damn hill, man. So we try to get out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, sweet. You going the wrong way. Right. Wrong way, bro. That was what that movie Double Take, man. You going the wrong way. That's why we had something. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got uh. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except to come a falling away first, and that man is sin be revealed, the son of perdition, 
So um, with all this information that's coming up, hey, it's it's evident that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the real Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures. So it says that they shall not come except what? The falling away uh, comes first, which that has happened already. We, we fell away. All right, now we're waking back up to who we are. That's why we're seeing videos like uh, the um, Iskar brother all right, proclaiming his heritage, all right, knowing his history. And then it says the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which that's Esau Edom. All right, so that lets us know what? That we're almost out of this captivity. You know, we're, up, we're at the end. Us waking back up to who we are. That's that uh, um, Revelations, the 11th chapter, us standing back upon our feet, got the spirit back in us. We know who we are. It says, uh, this is to them the evident token of their tradition. Um, basically, um, you know the scripture, the evident token? Uh, basically, this word. Philippians, I believe. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. It's Philippians 1 and verse 28. It says, and nothing terrified by your adversaries. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the man speaking boldly. Uh, like it says, you know, it says uh verse 28 and then nothing terrified by your adversaries which is to them an evident token of perdition but to you of salvation and that of the most high yeah that's uh that's the sign that the uh the prophets the uh the, uh, the, uh, the jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophets that been before me and before hey, you hey grab two of them yes Charlie. Outside both against many countries and against great kingdom for war, evil, and blessings. For a kingdom falls, the prophets come. That's that's not that's the indicator. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you said? So, what did y'all bring up? Sure, I'm going to let him bring his precepts out too, man, so he don't be trying to come against the southern kingdom. Uh, <laughs> this is just uh, to back up Yasharala and his uh, Thessalonians. Unless they be a falling away first. This is the, the book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people, who in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's just the Spirit of the Lord coming back upon the children of Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. That's Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. I'm going to it right now. Perfect. You know, uh, the, the stick of, of Ephraim and the stick of Judah. All right, Ephraim shall no longer uh, envy Judah, and Judah shall no longer vex him. All right, that's just the breath of the Most Ooh. High coming upon the children of Israel again. All right, being made living. All right, it said uh, when the Most High breathed unto Adam that he became a living soul. That's the that's scriptures, right. man, this word. These law, statutes, and commandments, which we're coming back to that, man. All right, you see that the northern kingdom waking up. Mm -hmm. All right, but it was prophesied that the, the children of Judah had to wake up first. God, this is uh, Ezekiel 37 and 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and said to them, O you dry bones, said the word of Yahweh. Thus said the Lord Yahweh to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Mm -hmm. My brother just gave a beautiful breakdown to it already, man. And uh, why these what makes these bones dry? What makes them bones is the fact that we uh, lost our heritage, that great falling away that the brother uh, Yasharala read, man. Says he that turned the, uh, away from the most side of man from the congregation of the dead. That goes to Revelation 11, verses 7 and 8, you know, with those dead bodies, man, in this great city. Spiritual Sodom also called spiritual Egypt, all right, because this is where that great bondage was at, the place we got brought to slave ships, so. the place we got brought to via slave ships, man. Um, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter to you, and you shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am Yahweh. And that's why we're alive again, because we know Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shine now, man. I'm going to jump down um, to verse 9. God. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. 
So I prophesy as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and said to them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And that's and this is what it starts with, man. It says in the root, we shall be gathered by the word of the Lord, man. This is that gathering, man, and we sh and we shall get the salvation, man. We will get we will get the land promised to us, man. Um, I'm gonna jump down. Verse 15: The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. And join them one to another into one stick; they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thou slap. Like Somebody guys say 11. Uh, no more Judas, no more of that. Um, thus saith, say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah. They make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks that are on thy right shall be in thy hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mounts of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all, man. So there you go. Uh, the Lord is bringing us back to our heritage. He's taking away the divisions from us because he's taking away the curses from us, man. This is the time of our salvation, man. All right, we're not blacks. All right, we're, we're uh, uh, Yahweh, all right, or Judah, really with the Hebrews, Yahweh, or Banyamian, which is Benjamin, or Lawyer, all right, which is Levi. All right, we're not Mexicans or Puerto Ricans, with Issachar, or y y Yashashkar, or, or Ephraim, or Pariah, all right? We're not fucking Native Americans with Gadites, or God, or Reuben, or Bon, on down the list, man. Ashar, just keep going, man. Manasseh, all of that, man. We're not no fuck these virals es Esau put on us, man. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the, the, the beautiful part about that is whoever is the real Israelites today, we have to fit that same mold. And does do ish Amalekites who call themselves Israeli, do they fit the 12 tribes? Mm -hmm. Do they fit them by customs? Do they no. fit them by appearance? Do they fit them by actions, deeds, curses, or anything? Yeah. No. All right. Only people who fit is the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, and the speckled bird, looking like different nations, you get that one token so-called white man. He look white as hell, but guess what? He live in the hood. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I was at work last week and uh, I walked up to this random guest. I ain't gonna cut you off, That's but okay, I, asked him, like, I saw the spirits. I, I asked him, I'm like, uh, do you need help or whatever? He was like, no, nah, I'm okay, but he was showing me his product. He was like, this product real good or whatever. And I'm like, okay, 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 thanks, or whatever. Then he started making conversation with me or whatever, and he told me, Strap, this is so called white man living a, a suburban, uh, a full suburban right outside Chicago, that man. He told me dead in my face, he told me, don't trust white people. He pointed at his own skin and told me, don't trust white people. None of them. Because they not, they don't, it ain't no peace, love, none of that. He told me that, and work. Sent the video, uh, who posted in the, in the orders of white things, like, never trust thy enemy. Mm -hmm. And it was the white bitch. Oh, yeah. And yeah. she was like, the game. Yeah, she yeah. took that shit. Oh, yeah, oh, you yeah. remember, right, 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 the, the one white bitch with the Jake yeah. bitch. Yeah. And, and if both of them would have said, we going to steal, they would have got nothing. You got the Jake on the one hand, I said, well, you know what, she was doing it for the church, my Lord. Said no, you didn't give me shit to that fucking big ass preacher. Uh, uh, but they had Esau straight up scheme on her ass, like I know I'm gonna get this bitch. Well, and you know what's fucked up when you watch it. This just proved that the nigga that the niggas love Esau and trust yeah. him. She knew that the bitch was scamming. She told him which ball was the one to, uh, to yeah. share, yeah. and she still trusted, even though she knew that it was the other one. At this yeah. point. We should have been well. I'm a steal too, bitch. Neither one of us getting this money, and we ain't gonna share. Right, right. That's it. That's it. Because I'm, and that's how we would have been. Say, like, look, look, look. I'm like, straight up. I'm already saying I'm stealing. So I'm telling you right now, we ain't both ain't getting shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And so then we ain't gonna get shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not gonna take a chance on Esau. Because I don't trust Esau. The Lord said, never trust that enemy, man. That's right. Fuck it. You can't trust them, man. Because even when you do, they always let you down. I don't give a fuck. If an Edomite don't let you down, it's not a Edomite. <laughs> I heard that song. This is Rock 14. And it's Rock 14 and verse. Verse seven, it says, and if he do it good, he do it unwillingly. Perfect. And <laughs> Perfect. You got slack that guy wound up your freezer. <laughs> uh, it says, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. You know, that's Esau evil spirit, man. He, you know? he do good. If he's done, uh, we, how many times, how many years do we go down on the state and that we yeah. And every yeah. third Sunday or whatever, or third Saturday, whatever, who do we see outside? Esau set up two or three chair tables and, and then set up food for who? The so-called homeless. Who the majority, 90% of the homeless that came when they come is so-called Negro, Latino, the American English. You get your token two or three Edomite looking people, and most likely they take you. They, they come over there, and guess what they serve them? Oh. Straight up pork. Pork, pork hot dogs, pork and beans, and pork, 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 pork. So when they oh. say they're doing good, oh, we're trying to feed the homeless. We're out here to feed and take care of this and that. And then what they're giving them, shit that's abominable before the Lord, which the Lord's not going to receive. Them. That's what? <laughs> I had a picture, though. What? 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 A picture? Yeah. Uh, it's Jeremiah 15, 33. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refuse to let them go. Kind of. So the same things that we went through is, uh, you know, the so-called Negroes, the so-called uh, Latin went through the same thing, man. Mm -hmm. The Israelites. And we still both in the hands of Esau either getting fucked up to this day, man. Hmm. Discriminated against. I, I did mm -hmm. a uh, quick Google search. Uh, basically, you know, back uh, during our hardcore slavery times and even after, you know, just like uh, Southern Kingdom got discriminated against, same thing ha happened with Northern Kingdom. It's this a picture of uh, just Google. Let's see. Closer. Closer. But you have flyers. You have flyers and posters saying no blacks and no Mexicans allowed, man. You know? And it's that scripture right there. Pressed together, man. Hey, our people go through the same exact thing. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Whether it's the game bank getting crushed and crushed by a, a common enemy. You know? That's all proof that we are those people. <laughs> I'll show you one, too. From the article I had, the lynchings, yep. the Mexicans. Now that's proof. That This picture alone is proof according to the scripture we read earlier. These are Israelites. <clears throat> curse be he that hanging from a tree, man. These are people that's under the curse of Deuteronomy 28, just as we are, man. And you'll find those uh, pictures, that particular period, I believe it's in Without Sanctuary as well. We'll show you that Issachar was, was in the same lynching books of Jake and the so called Irish. God. A lot of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Irish that came over for the indigenous service in Dale King. And that's why you'll find that the ad that he put up no Mexicans or Negro, but then they'll also say no Irish, Mexicans, and Negro. That basically is the no Northern Kingdom, no Southern Kingdom, and no Southern Bird. So with that, I'm just edifying all praise on the board too. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ka'kudash. No bodies to the apostle, husband of Millstone. And Sasha, you must understand this sincere truth on charity. Shalom, Walmart, Bob, Bob.